As anyone who's ever had to clean sonar data knows, hydrographic survey can be tedious. Is scanning through each and every line looking for flyers a great use of our time? How about checking features to make sure that you put in each and every little detail perfectly? No, of course not. I mean, it might be satisfying to hide in the corner of the room and do these things while listening to your favorite jams, but we can automate these tasks. And that's what we're doing with the new QC Tools application. QC Tools is a part of the Hydro Office project, which is a collaboration between NOAA and the Center for Coastal and Ocean Mapping to develop software for automating these kinds of things. We hope to replace existing programs like SARScan and HCellScan with QC Tools. So let's talk more about QC Tools and what exactly you can use it for in your day-to-day -day job. First of all, QC Tools is available through Pydro Explorer and currently lives in the Branch Tools section. When you open QC Tools, you'll see that it is organized into three major tabs, Survey Review, Chart Review, and an Information section. Let's talk about Survey Review first. Basically, you start by loading in your grids in either Caesar or BAG format, as well as an S57 feature file. Drag those bad boys together, or separately, anywhere onto the interface, and QC Tools will put them in the respective boxes, and you'll see them show up in the application. You'll also see a few tabs become available for you to click at the bottom of the screen. These are the functions that we can perform on our grids and feature files. The first one is Flyer Finder. Give her a click and you'll notice that there are two flyer finders, version 1 and version 2. Both of these will give you the same results, but version 2 is much faster and can handle grids up to 10 gigabytes or more. It's a bit new though, so we'll be leaving version 1 as an option until version 2 is tested a bit more. To run flyer finder, you add a random flyer height and the program looks for any three connected grid nodes that rise and fall by that amount. So ideally, it'll ignore slopes or rocks that rise and fall by that amount as they occur over more than three grid nodes. But if you get a node with a depth based on a flyer, it will let you know in the output window and generate an SVP and an S57 file with the height and position. Drag one of these files into Keras and you can visualize the position of the flyer. As an added bonus, in BDB, the flyer heights are also given, which can allow them to be ranked in order of their severity. Next, let's look at the Feature Scan tab. This one is pretty self-explanatory. It matches your S57 feature file to the current specifications and deliverables to see if there are any attribution issues. Click on Feature Scan and prepare to see how well you comply. The Office versus Field option is there to give you the option to scan O notes, which are only looked at for the Office folks. The output of this guy is an S57 file, with cartographic notes as well as a PDF report. You can see in this example, some features were missing source information and were flagged as such. Next is the Valsau Check tab. This will look at all the surveyed features with a value of sounding and see if they are in the grid. It will compare the depth and location of the feature and the nearest grid node and either give it a pass or let you know that something is wrong. After it runs, you'll get an output window showing the results and an S57 that should help reveal any inconsistencies between the grid and the feature. Here you can see that the Valsau of the feature matches the nearest grid node, so the check passed. If they didn't match in value or in location, you would get a flag on that feature. The last tab in the QC Tools application is the Seabed Area Export, which just gives you an S57 with the correct format for delivery to NCEI. Pretty straightforward. The second tab is the Chart Review tab. A lot of this is sort of in construction at this point, with plans to support all the current H cell scan functions and reading and writing to S57. As of now, we only have one tool in place that allows the branch folks to truncate a bag file to help with H cell compilation. All you do is drag the bag and click Truncate. You'll get a new bag ready for compilation. Finally, we have the Information tab. We all know how much fun it is to read manuals, right? Well, here you can get the manual and read up a bit more on all of these topics. You can also get the contact information for the authors. Have a great idea for a new tool? Feel like something should be automated or improved? Contact one or all of these guys with your idea. We might have the know-how to make things better, but we rely on you guys to help us figure out what needs improving. Thanks for watching and good luck out there.